global geopolitics is changing rapidly and Mongolia is at the center of it in some way. Not only does Mongolia occupy a position between Russia and China, both emerging as key players on the geopolitical stage, but it also stands at the crossroads of global events that matter to the West and East. Mongolia's geographic location, historical ties and friendly relations connect us to our authoritarian neighbors, while our democratic values link us to the Western world and other democratic countries. This unique position places Mongolia at the heart of global affairs. There is no option to exit the game. Mongolia matters. Hello everyone and welcome to Mongolia Matters. On February 24, 2022, President Putin of the Russian Federation announced the commencement of a special military operation in Ukraine, which in reality amounted to a declaration of war. It has now been two years since the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In this episode of Mongolia Matters, we'll shed light on Mongolia's stance regarding the conflict in Ukraine. As the war in Ukraine enters its third year, nearly 18% of Ukraine's territory is currently occupied by Russia, with around 7% of this territory already under occupation before 2022. It's important to recall that the conflict began in 2014 with the annexation of Crimea by Russia and subsequent intervention in eastern Ukraine, particularly in the Donbas region. Estimating the toll of casualties, both civilian and military, during the two years of conflict in Ukraine is challenging. In December 2023, a declassified U.S. intelligence report listed 315,000 soldiers wounded or killed on the Russian side. According to a report by the New York Times in August 2023, based on estimates by American officials, approximately 70,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been killed and between 100,000 and 120,000 wounded. Russian losses were even higher with an estimated 120,000 soldiers dead and between 170,000 and 180,000 wounded between the start of the conflict and August 2023. Since the onset of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, over 10 million Ukrainians have been displaced from their homes. Among them, more than 6.4 million have become refugees seeking safety abroad. Mongolia matters. Mongolia's position on the Russian war on Ukraine is indeed a complex issue. On one hand, Mongolia is a democratic and peace-loving country that values international norms and principles. On the other hand, Mongolia shares historical ties and geographic proximity with Russia, which can influence its stance on the conflict. Mongolia has to navigate a delicate balance between upholding its democratic values and maintaining its relationships with neighboring country, Russia. On March 2, 2022, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine and called for the full withdrawal of Russian forces, as well as a reversal of its recognition of the self-declared People's Republic of Donetsk and Luhansk. The resolution garnered 140 fun votes in favor with 5 against and 35 abstentions. Mongolia was among the 35 countries that abstained from voting. Similarly, on October 12, 2022, the General Assembly declared the referendums held in Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk and Zaporozhye oblasts, along with their subsequent annexation by Russia, as invalid and illegal under international law. It urged all states not to recognize these territories as part of Russia and demanded Russia's immediate withdrawal from Ukraine. The resolution passed with 143 votes in favor, 5 against and 35 abstaining, with Mongolia once again abstaining from voting. On February 23, 2023, Mongolia again abstained from voting when the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution concerning the principles of the Charter of the United Nations underlying a comprehensive, just and lasting peace in Ukraine, joining 32 other countries in abstaining from the vote. 
Why does Mongolia consistently abstain from voting at the UN General Assembly? If Mongolia is indeed a democratic country, why does it refrain from condemning Russia's aggressive actions in Ukraine? Mongolia's consistent abstention from voting at the UN General Assembly stems from a variety of factors, including its foreign policy principles, economic ties with Russia, and geopolitical considerations. While Mongolia certainly has concerns about Russia's actions in Ukraine, it chooses not to publicly condemn them due to its reliance on Russia for fuel and energy, among other factors. In October 2022, during his visit to Germany, Prime Minister of Mongolia Oyun Irtin shared his perspective on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine in an interview with the German agency DW. He emphasized the importance of resolving the conflict through peace talks. From the very beginning, Mongolia has held the position and policy that countries should resolve their issues in a peaceful way, by diplomatic means, with minimal damage to each other. It is clear that Mongolia stands against war and for peace. Our point of view is that it is better to approach the issue peacefully without dragging this war on. Because as the war drags on, every country in the world will pay and suffer. Especially in developing countries, the damage will be even greater. Civilians will suffer more. That is why Mongolia continues to express its position that the UN, the Security Council members and the G7 should resolve the issue through peaceful negotiations. That remains our position. The Mongolian Prime Minister highlighted the detrimental effects of the Russia's invasion of Ukraine on the Mongolian economy. He emphasized that Mongolia has suffered financial losses, including a decline in airline revenues and challenges in importing essential supplies from Russia. The sanctions on Russia constitute a double sanction on Mongolia, despite our lack of involvement in the conflict, he said. Furthermore, the Prime Minister underscored that the situation in Ukraine extends beyond a mere bilateral conflict with far-reaching negative repercussions on the global economy and particularly small landlocked countries like Mongolia. He emphasized the need for careful consideration in imposing economic sanctions as they can have extensive and adverse effects on other nations. Additionally, the Prime Minister pointed out that airlines previously utilizing routes through Russian airspace also flew over Mongolian territory, generating valuable navigation fees for Mongolia. However, with airplanes unable to traverse Russian airspace, Mongolia has experienced a loss in navigation revenues. Moreover, the Prime Minister highlighted the ripple effects of war-related shortages in Russia, which have disrupted the supply of commodities such as diesel fuel and mining equipment. These shortages have directly affected Mongolia's access to essential products required for daily use. As I said earlier, as long as the situation escalates, other countries will face the same issues. That is why I will repeat once again I think that it is necessary to find a very good solution through peaceful means and turn this conflict situation into a situation of negotiation. In my opinion, Germany, which currently leads the G7, and our neighbour China can play a special role in this. I plan to talk with Chancellor Olaf Scholz about this as well. In general, the whole world will suffer if this situation continues and worsens, and developing countries will suffer especially. There is a risk that the world will face starvation, and there is a risk that the world will enter a severe energy crisis. That is why, of course, humankind stands against war, 
Let me repeat that I think it is the historic duty of today's world leaders, especially the United Nations, to resolve the situation through a consensual approach as much as possible, without resorting to nuclear weapons. Mongolia matters. Mongolia is often regarded as an oasis of democracy, situated between the two powerful neighbors, China and Russia, with whom it shares its borders. However, Mongolia also cultivates close relationships with its third neighbors from the democratic world. These third neighbors, including the United States, France, Germany, Japan, South Korea, India, and Turkey, etc., play significant roles in Mongolia's international partnerships and development. Although Mongolia does not share geographical borders with its third neighbors, it shares common democratic values and principles with them. Mongolia's democratic system fosters a diversity of opinions and perspectives within society. Consequently, some voices in Mongolia, such as the No War Movement, actively advocate for stronger condemnation of Russia's actions. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the movement has organized approximately 100 demonstrations protesting against the war. However, during some of these demonstrations, their rights to protest and express their beliefs were violated by pro-Russian individuals, resulting in attacks on the demonstrators. Many of these demonstrators were staged outside the premises of the Russian embassy in Mongolia. Mongolia matters. Despite Mongolia's abstention from voting on UN resolutions condemning Russia's actions, the country demonstrated its support for Ukraine by providing humanitarian aid. In April 2022, just two months after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Mongolia extended a helping hand by offering 200,000 US dollars in humanitarian assistance to Ukraine. This gesture underscored Mongolia's commitment to providing aid to those affected by conflict and its willingness to contribute positively to international efforts to address humanitarian crisis. The president of Mongolia, Khrushchev Okhuna, spoke with the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, by telephone on February 21, 2023. Convening his wishes for Tsahansar to the people of Mongolia, President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his gratitude to Mongolia for sending humanitarian aid to Ukraine, highlighted his satisfaction with the cooperation between the two countries and reminisced about his childhood in Mongolia. Before starting elementary school, Zelensky lived for four years in Irtnut city of Mongolia, where his father worked at the Irtnut plant of copper and molybdenum moor. Expressing deep concern over the situation in Ukraine, Mongolian President Khrushchev Okhna emphasized the importance of intensifying international community efforts and diplomatic actions, particularly peace negotiations, as the best solution to the conflict. President Khrushchev also underscored Mongolia's commitment to maintaining balanced relations with neighboring countries and third neighbors and highlighted its peace-loving, open, independent and multi-pillar foreign policy. Mongolia matters. Former Mongolian President Elbogdor Tsehe spoke out on September 23, 2022, regarding Russia's invasion of Ukraine, urging Vladimir Putin to halt the war. Elbogdor strongly condemned the war. It's important to note that his statement does not reflect the official stance of the government of Mongolia. Elbek Dorj highlighted the disproportionate impact of the war on ethnic minorities residing in Russia. He pointed out the plight of Buryat Mongols, Tva Mongols and Kalmyk Mongols, who he asserted have borne the brunt of the conflict and have been tragically exploited as mere cannon fodder. Good morning, good day, good evening to all my friends who are watching me and listening to me. I am one of the eight sons of a herdsman. I am one of you who dearly loves freedom and peace. I am one of the proud citizens of a free and independent Mongolia. I have a simple message to President Putin. 
Mr. President, stop the war. Prokratite vaino. I have met with you on many occasions. You have the power to stop this war right now. Now it's time to make peace. My heart is breaking apart when I see Russia. Since you started this war, Russia has been drawn into fears, full of tears. Your mobilization brings oceans of sufferings. Mr. President, stop your senseless killings and destruction. I have a message to those who are fleeing Russia. The world will meet you with open arms and hearts. Today you are fleeing brutality, cruelty, and likely death. Tomorrow you will start freeing your country from dictatorship. I know since the start of this bloody war, ethnic minorities who live in Russia suffered the most. The Buryat Mongols, Tuva Mongols, and Kalmyk Mongols have suffered a lot. They have been used as nothing more than cannon fodder. Hundreds of them are wounded. Thousands of them have been killed. We the Mongols will meet you with open arms and hearts as well. I also have a message to those being forced to fight Putin's war in Ukraine. Don't shoot Ukrainians. Don't shoot your sisters and brothers, children and elders. Do not kill that country. Do not kill their freedom. Ukraine has a full right to exist. Finally, I have a message to brave people of Ukraine and to President Zelensky. Thank you for your bravery and leadership. The best side of the world is with you. You are an inspiration. When you win, all people will win. No dictatorship lasts forever. The united will of people's freedom will always prevail. Slava Heroi. Mongolia is a democratic country where freedom of speech and expression of opinion are upheld. As a result, there is a diversity of opinions and positions within the country, which is a defining characteristic of Mongolia. Some individuals in Mongolia openly criticize Russia's war in Ukraine, while others express support for Russia. This variance in perspectives as a reflection of personal beliefs and freedoms exercised in Mongolia. However, Mongolia's official stance is to advocate for an end to the conflict in Ukraine through peaceful negotiations at the earliest opportunity. Mongolia does not align itself with either Russia or Ukraine, but stands firmly on the side of peace. This commitment to peace is the established position of Mongolia. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Mongolia Matters. We appreciate your participation and we look forward to having you join us again next time. Until then, goodbye and take care.